Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we get into the reading, please make sure you like up on the video, okay? Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for everyone who um, shows their love and support. I truly appreciate it. That is a pure energy exchange for the energy and the messages I provide to the collective on a daily. And that's all I ask is for your thumbs up, you know, and we're going to keep it moving. Showing up for yourself, collective, is very important. Are you showing up for yourself? If you are, how are you showing up for yourself? Okay? If you're not, it's very important, I'm hearing, to tap into showing up for yourself, um, being accountable for your, your purpose and your life path at this time. What are you doing every day? Uh, towards your goals, towards your vision, towards your uh, discovery to self-mastery is what I'm hearing here. Okay, I'm hearing the integral parts. It's the integral things that matter and that make a difference. Ooh, I'm asking y'all. Give me a second because it won't work. Okay, hold on. okay um showing up for yourselves okay getting up when you don't feel like it answering that phone call when you don't want to saying no okay when you're used to just saying yes right there's little things that allow you to start making self-improvement self-improvement is significant i want to get a surrender because at this time we're doing a lot of releasing and i feel like the more we the more we are releasing the more we are letting the divine in um and not only letting letting the divine in but letting the divine into a safe space where um we can co-create right releasing blockages remo removing self-doubt removing negativity removing fear right oh i thought i seen one slip over um being intentional <clears throat> in regards to our journey so we have surrender to defensiveness is here all right, defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Get out of that defensive energy, collective. Some of you guys may be feeling wounded. Some of you guys may be feeling um, unappreciated. Some of you guys may be feeling as though you been in this fight for a long time by yourself and you really just don't care what anybody has to say you don't care about nobody's opinion advice you don't care about anything right now it's like i'm hearing fuck it like you in a real fuck it type energy and you are also giving that energy to people who are genuinely trying to help you and this is energy i'm picking up on like people who are genuinely trying to assist you who have already done and surpassed what it is that you're just trying to do you're just getting started right it's one thing to to block out someone's advice from someone who hasn't even scratched the surface who hasn't even achieved what your goal is or what you're going for but this advice is coming from someone 
who has already walked the path you are trying to walk okay surrender to intuition this is so important i was just talking to myself about this this morning um trusting my intuition more as it pertains to my personal life and certain things that i uh decide to do because for a long time when i was younger i um, allowed my mother in particular to make a lot of a, a lot of decisions for me my mom's a leo her birthday's today actually and she um is naturally a dictator and um uh, for some reason when i was younger um i allowed her to do that right so now even now like i'm still healing that space and learning to make decisions for myself and trust the decision that i'm making okay so very important right now collective to when it comes to decision makings trust your intuition but also if someone is lending advice and this someone is very knowledgeable they are experienced um i i feel that it's 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 it will be it will behoove you to yield to this person's advice <clears throat> that that's very specific all right so let's get some more on this defensiveness yeah a lot of you guys are in a warrior spirit i'm getting the nine of swords also um a lot of you guys are uh, in a very protective state of mind all right on defense right it's like don't fucking try me don't test me don't come near me and if you do it's off with your head chop chop this is giving me uh kill bill vibes all right the movie yeah knight of cups is here this could definitely be um in a romantic situation or someone trying to uh approach you trying to take you out or something like that trying to date you i feel like a lot of you guys just don't have time for confusion all right this person i feel like for some of you this person isn't offering you enough for you to you know take your attention from what's necessary to take your attention off priorities for some of you guys you see this person bringing in confusion in your world and you're looking for real love okay true love all right you're looking for someone who can can I, i'm hearing provide their love to you and only you okay for some of you guys you may know this person already and you already kind of seen them in the relation in relationships i'm getting this as a platonic friendship um initially and now this person is trying to take a platonic uh situation into romantic and you kind of like nah i already seen what you about what is the seven of cups like you don't want no confusion right now like what is the seven of cups you could be getting advice about this person from someone yeah you're being advised to pull back some of you or this is a message you see this tower a mile away all right surrender to your intuition a lot of you guys are already feeling this about this person if this is pertaining to um someone lending a romantic gesture um for others of you there's going to be a, a huge tower moment taking place something very significant divine intervention taking place that's going to cause you to have to uh step back that's going to cause you to have to retreat um and assess a situation there's a pisces here significant aries scorpio some of you guys have a lot of options and you're trying to be very careful and strategic as it pertains to what option you're going to choose because i'm hearing you you're not trying to make the wrong decisions there's the devil and the emperor all right also be aware of um, manipulating or being on some type of power struggle all right we have the star card for the the knight of cups oh see this is someone you know hold on you guys this is someone you know and i'm gonna be honest for others of you this person they are okay how can i explain this give me one second because i want to give you guys the message but i also got to do other shit <laughs> so bear with me okay 
for others of you, this person from your past has tapped into their healing powers. This is someone who they can be a baby in this spiritual in the spiritual journey, okay, because the Knight of Cups is still not a king, but it's not a page. But I feel like they're well on their way to becoming a king. They're well on their way to becoming a queen. They're healing themselves. They're doing what needs to be done. This person could definitely be healing past life trauma or childhood trauma. Okay, with the star and the six of cups. But I feel like you know what had, what transpired in this person's life in the past or vice versa. Or you guys kind of know what each other has gone through yeah the five of pentacles this could be someone coming to your door someone could be asking you for some type of shelter or some type of loan all right someone may be asking you for a large loan okay i, I hear a loan here and we have the hermit here i feel like you've kind of been ducked off for a while as well healing as well I'm getting them in the star card and you as the hermit. There's a hermit in the lovers here. Virgo and Gemini energy. I'm hearing here like this is this may be a relationship uh, that you've never experienced, that you never expected. Um, for a lot of you guys, you probably, again, you probably only seen this person in a platonic um light like you never really looked at this person as someone you would actually give a chance to what is this the ace of cups i feel like the most high wow ace of cups this person could have broken your heart in the past or before or maybe you guys are just guarded because you don't want to be heartbroken again you're suffering from um something that happened with the past six of pentacles and the five of swords here yeah oh with the death card here i feel like you guys have gone through a complete transformation as it pertains to your heart space as it pertains to love as it pertains to that's where that defensiveness is coming from because i see true pure love coming towards you um it might not be with what you're expecting or what you ask for but you're even though it's a, a um, night you're not even ready for the night is what i'm hearing here you're still battling some things here i feel like i'm getting here you guys went through a tough also abusive relationship but i'm hearing here the relationship was mutually abusive i'm not saying it's right okay you guys i'm just reading the cards i'm reading the energy <clears throat> With the five of swords six of pentacles and the three of swords there was definitely um mutual energy as it pertains to uh physical altercations um, uh, verbal abuse cheating mistreating okay so now i'm picking up the energy both of you and whoever this is from your past or you're currently in connection with um, I'm hearing you guys abused love like neither one of you knew the the, the true meaning of love okay or this um, definitely could happen in the past maybe you guys were like really young and you just didn't understand uh, what love was okay maybe some of you guys had um, you had to learn all right and that's what I'm picking up on with this person who's coming back I'm picking up with the star and the six of cups like Either this is you or this is them, like really having to learn the meaning and the purpose of love. Sorry, you guys, I wanted you guys to see the cards down here. But the Five of Swords always gives me that energy of someone who feels like they won in something, but really look at what you had to do to win or to be victorious. You had to do some suck, some, I wanted to say snide, slide, fucked up ass shit to get to the top all right to have this this fucked up ass grin mischievous grin like but yeah but look at the, all the people you wounded on your way to where right back to me is what i'm hearing 
for some of you guys i'm picking up like damn this person did some fucked up ass shit or this is you just to end up right back to you i'm i'm coming back i'm running back to you i'm running back i'm running back to you yeah some of you guys are really defensive towards this person because you've been down that road before already with whoever this is you don't want to do it again or you don't trust that they truly healed i feel like there's an energy around someone having to prove to you like you truly stepping back like they're coming to you you see a tower you're stepping back you're trying to see if that's what this person is uh, going to show you. If they're going to show and prove what you already know to be true. Or, or are they going to actually come back healed? For some of you guys, this person is going to show their true colors though. They are going to show they haven't changed and they can't give you what you want at this time. Aries. I don't know why I say Aries. I meant to say Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ask and it is given. Ask and it is given. Give us some messages, Source. Ask is in and it is given. If you guys want to book a personal, remember these are general. You can text me 951-444-8082. Email divinelighttarot at gmail.com. Last message here. Is it not about, it is not about controlling my thoughts. It is about guiding them. Ashe, because when you try to get the control and that's when anxiety can hit. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with controlling your thoughts, but don't let, don't let the controlling be the end all be all. Once you get in control of your thoughts, then it's time to guide them. We are not encouraging, we are not encouraging you to make an effort to control your thoughts, but instead to more or less guide your thoughts. Reaching for the way you would like to feel is an easier way to hold your thoughts in vibrational alignment with what with that which you believe is good all right i want to read that one more time we are not encouraging you to make an effort to control your thoughts but instead to more or less guide your thoughts reaching for the way you would like to feel is an easier way to hold your thoughts in vibrational alignment with that which you believe is good my shame. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, collective. I hope this helps. Like the video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.